this video is just going to concentrate on the plantar aspect of the, of the proximal uh, metatarsus. The mid and distal metatarsus are very similar in the hind limb um, uh, to, the, to the corresponding metacarpus in the forelimb, um, but proximately there are some differences. Um, and most in particular, the fact that the, there is not that same nice straight alignment of the uh, tendinous and ligamentous structures. They're all slightly offset. Um, and unfortunately, we end up with edge artifacts that come as a result of that. So it means that imaging of, the, in particular, the check ligament and, and most of all the suspensory body can actually be quite tricky. There's also uh, often some residual muscle fibres, uh, particularly in the suspensory ligament, the body of the suspensory ligament, and, and less commonly uh, to a degree in the deep digital flexor tendon. And you've got to be quite cautious interpreting potential lesions in those structures, uh, particularly given that, uh, that, that the, the quality of images that we can get in those deeper structures in the hind limb is not as good as the ones we can in the forelimb. So we're going to start zone 2A, which is the first zone of the metatarsus, the most proximal zone of the metatarsus. We're going to start on the midline, around about the level of the proximal cannon, the um, proximal splint bones. And on the midline, as before, we can see, if I freeze that image, we have the superficial digital flexor tendons. And then slightly off to the right of the image, so immediately we can just see the edge, uh, the lateral edge of the deep digital flexor tendon. And we won't be able to get that in the same image. So what we then need to do is unfreeze the image and bring the transducer medially a bit and then we can optimise the image for the deep digital flexor tendon. If we come back to the midline in zone 1A we can possibly just about appreciate the origin of the suspensory ligament. This is starting uh, on the proximal plantar border of the, of the uh, cannon bone of the third metatarsal. As I said, it can be quite an indistinct structure and it can be difficult to image, but it should be just about starting at this level. Once we've got those images, we can move down to zone 2B. And we can freeze there. And again, we can see that we've got the superficial digital flex tendon on the midline. And just on the image there, uh, slightly better visible this time around, is the deep digital flexor tendon medially. We can also perhaps appreciate rather better on this image that the uh, inferior check ligament and also the uh, origin of the suspensory ligament are visible uh, deeper down in the photo, in the image. And then right at the bottom of the image, we have a bright white line, which represents the uh, plantar bony surface of the cannon bone. Unfreeze that. As we come distally, again, we can recognise the uh, structure of the suspensory ligament there more re readily. So at the bottom of the image there, we have an obvious image of the suspensory ligament. We have the superficial digital flexor tendon on the midline and the deep digital flexor tendon um, slightly immediately to that. If we continue on distally, we'll find that those structures come much more into alignment like they would be on the forelimb. And from there on downwards, the, 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 the ultrasonographic appearance is much the same as it is in the foreleg.